Hey, welcome back to Mindful May. Today I'm just showing you what a regular day in my life looks like. I'm gonna take you through just a regular old Tuesday. Starting the day, my husband and I wake up at 6 a.m. We brush teeth, get coffee, and then we do our morning routine separately. And this for me looks like journaling, reading my Bible, prayer, maybe reading a book, and then my favorite part, at about 7.15, we hang out until he needs to get ready for work, which is around 7.45. We get some time to catch up, talk about the days ahead, and then when he heads off for work, I start my workout. I will work out anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, then I hop in the shower and start making my breakfast. I usually have a smoothie, starts with water, almond milk, turmeric, and black pepper, spinach, frozen fruit, and then always add a scoop or two of vegan protein powder depending on how hard my workout was. After I am done with my breakfast, I will start on my first project for the day. Let's jump into that. Today I am working on the McCall 7969, which is a pattern I've wanted to make for a long time. It's very famous, I see it all over my Instagram feed, and I wanted to make one myself. Today I'm going to be using this beautiful rust double gauze, or bubble gauze. I cannot confirm what it's called. If you know, please let me know. And I got it from my friend Nicole. She gave it to me, so shout out to Nicole. I'm going to be making version A, and I'm going to hack it into a shirt. So, here we go. Okie dokie. Everything is cut out and now I'm going to change my serger thread. This isn't even that close to the color, but it's the closest I have and I think it's better than white. So go on with it. Sleevey. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yikes. So beautiful. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna take the right side of the cuff. Gosh, I have to think about it. Right side. I feel like this is just so much of sewing. Pinning forever. Beautiful. I'm gonna sew this on now. Then I'm gonna top stitch over this, but first I need to find a thread that looks good with it. This feels like it's the closest and it's orange, but it's really, it's what I have and I don't want to go to the store because I'm lazy. The orange looks nice. After breakfast, I tend to work for a few hours on a sewing project or work on editing a video. I do work a day job. Well, it's a night job. I work in the evenings, so I get to go do that later. I had a great workout this morning. I've been doing Pilates with Lily Sabri. I do like three or four videos every morning and just go back and forth between lower body and upper body. And I do like five days a week. So far, they're all really good. It's cool to do something different. I have that one yoga video on my page and I'd like to do more of those. I actually made my own workout program many years ago and filmed a bunch of it and wanted to share it and then I chickened out. So there's that. So I will probably be here until I get hungry. It's time for a matcha break. Use what's left of that. My good friend Mallory makes these mugs. Whiskey. Oh, lumpy. I'm hoping to get a lot done today. I am a master procrastinator, so I'm hoping to get this done, cut out my custom coat. I've got some meal prep to do, and I'm gonna make this into a reel for Instagram, and then I go to my real job. It's going to be quite a day. Let's see how much I get done. Ooh. All right, she's done. I did realize after sewing it on, I put the sleeves on backwards, so that's great. Still really cute and happy with it. I'm going to take a little break from sewing and start my meal prep, making a tofu stir fry. I've already made some rice that I prepped yesterday. My husband Miles is 100% vegan and I am like 95%. So I'm gonna prep us some food. This is my favorite way to cut a bell pepper. I never see people cutting it like this, but it makes most sense to me to cut it all the way around. Rip that off. Put you a little compost bucket. Kind of peel out the insides. Dump the seeds. 
I never see people cutting it like that. And then you don't lose any of this top portion. I don't know. So as I said before, my husband is vegan. I am predominantly plant-based and have been for several years. I grew up really not liking meat. It would make me sick when it was cooking, like ground beef. So since being married, haven't eaten any meat. On occasion, I will have some eggs. All right, put some sauce on it. Moving on to my next project for the afternoon. I'm cutting out a quilt coat and trying to figure out how to work around stains and rips. This is what we've got so far. Stain here, a rip over here. Just trying to work around those things. We'll see how she goes. She's looking good. Thumbs up. Wow, dirty. Now I'm making my lunch. I've got a veggie patty. Going to warm up some sweet potatoes. Make some scrambled eggs. But first, a snack. I am waiting to hear back from my client. In the meantime, I'll just get ready for work. I'm heading to my job now. Got my snacks packed in my dinner. And yeah, ready to go. It's been an excellent day. I didn't get as much done as I thought I would, but it's all good. Thanks for hanging with me today. It's real fun and uh, see you next time. Cheers.